Hey everyone, welcome back to Shade Review. In today's video, we are going over one of the most underrated pairs of all people's sunglasses of all time. But first off, we have to thank today's video sponsor, ShadeReviewStore.com, the absolute best place to buy designer sunglasses, up to 80% off the original MSRP. Again, that's our own website, ShadeReviewStore.com. All right, so I'm not gonna hold you out in any more suspense. It is the All of Our People's Del Rey, and these were actually released alongside one of the most popular pairs ever of our people's sunglasses even uh, President Barack Obama actually wore these and this is the Opel Sun. The Opel Sun and the Del Rey Sun were actually released at the exact same time and they look very very similar and are basically built out of the same materials and have the same kind of styling elements as well. The only difference between these two is of course the lens shape. So here we can see the more squared off style of the Opel and then here with the Del Rey we can see they have you know classic round lenses. So for those of you who don't know, the Opel is actually selling for $1,000 plus online. It's very hard to find a pair under, you know, $700. You'd be very lucky to get one under $700. And the Delray Sun, on the other hand, is actually not nearly as rare. Uh, they've made basically about the same amount of both of these, uh, but you can get a pair of Delray for, you know, $150, $200, $300. It's not really that hard to find a pair of these sunglasses, where again, with the Opel, it's very, very hard, and they are very expensive. So what's all the hype about with the Opel? Well, of course, like I said, President Barack Obama wore them and he looked really cool with wearing them. And they also have this absolutely beautiful etching here on the hinge. It's made out of this metal and we can see a little sun logo. Uh, and then the metal actually touches the metal, which is really, really high quality. And even the inside of the hinge is etched and just looks really, really nice. It's just a very, very classy pair of sunglasses. And the Opel and the Del Rey are actually one of the last pair of sunglasses that the founder of Oliver People Larry Light actually worked on. But most of that recognition is given to the Opel and not so much the Del Rey. So let's go ahead and pop these Del Rey sunglasses on, kind of talk about uh, why I really, really do like these. So as you guys can see, these have the you know classic round P3 uh, style to them, which looks really good. These frames are lacking the keyhole style bridge, which in my opinion definitely makes the sunglasses stand out and look a little bit more unique than something that does have the keyhole style bridge. Now we can see in the top corners, we can see uh, these two little metal accents in both the left and the right hand side and again moving down the temples we can see those absolutely beautiful etched uh, metal hinges which feel very very nice and premium and are actually one of the best hinges or probably the best hinges that all for people's has ever created it's just really really nice and high quality the Delray Sun came in a ton of absolutely beautiful different colorways this colorway looks really good with the silver mirrored lenses and this really cool light tortoise acetate front with the matte black temple which is a really really cool you know kind of combination. Now, those frames are not just made in Italy, they're actually handmade in Italy. And they sit here in the inner right temple of the frames, the Our People's handcrafted in Italy, which is really cool. And they also have a little embedded Our People's logo here in the uh, outside left ERS of the frames. So as far as looks go, I think these look really, really good on my face. They just fit me very good and they look really unique and really, really cool. And again, I just don't understand why these frames are so much less popular than the Opel Sun, which also do look really, really good. I do understand that these frames are absolutely iconic and they look great on basically anybody's face, but I really do believe that the uh, Del Rey Sun here should get a lot more credit for what it is. It's really the sister to the uh, Opel and, you know, I think it just deserves a little bit more uh, credibility. And because of that, I think it's just incredibly underrated. Uh, but overall, I really do love both these sunglasses. They are really, really nice. And again, they are both absolutely iconic sunglasses. Uh, I think the Opel are always going to be a lot more expensive and a lot more rare because uh, people are going to hold on to them than the Del Rey. A lot of people would sell the Del Rey and they don't understand, you know, kind of the whole history behind them and how they are, you know, really, really cool and iconic pair of sunglasses. But in my opinion, I think both these frames are absolute icons for all of our peoples. And I think, you know, actually they're both still a little underrated, even though the Opel, of course, are still very expensive. It's just, I think they should probably be even worth more than what they are right now. And I think they need a little bit more recognition from the average Oliver People's enthusiast. But anyways, that's all I got for you guys in this video. It was a quick one, but I hope you guys enjoyed it. If you did, make sure to give me a big thumbs up down below. And of course, make sure you hit that subscribe button and then you'll be notified every single time I upload a brand new video, just like this one to my YouTube channel. Again, thank you all so much for watching and I'll catch you all next one.